Hi, I'm Daniel Ortiz. Hello, I'm Alessandro Bantoni. Welcome to Food 101. Food, 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 people. Let's talk about food. Oh, Shuffy, it's summer, summer, summer. Yeah, it's hot, hot, hot here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hot, hot too, because as uh, we go to the middle of the summer, our discussion is becoming hot, hot, hot. Plus, we are really hot, Shafi, because our books, not only one, not only two, but now we are four books, Shafi. Four wow. books. Four books in total. Food 101 have our collections of, you know, our 100 episodes of our first season. So I, I, we t- I, I told you before that our first season is only my name, but for the second season, Chef Alessandro is coming on probably i'm counting already how many volumes in season one Sheffy. probably we have six season then probably on the volume seven your name will be there oh fantastic <laughs> yes to grab a copy of our food 101 volume one basic food 101 volume two uh, fundamentals food 101 volume three Essentials, those top uh, one, two, three volumes, those are the basic that we need in the kitchen to make our food delicious. Plus the volume <laughs> four, and the plus the volume four is now uh, focusing on the Greek cuisine. And after Greek cuisine, volume five will be Japanese cuisine. I was surprised, Shafi, that my first season i talk a lot <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah i talk a lot Shabby, that you know, I, I can imagine that the whole season i managed to talk about different uh, different kind of cuisines and a uh, basic fundamental or essential that you need in the kitchen to make you better and better so that the food that you're doing or whatever you're doing in the kitchen will be delicious, supreme, in elegant in uh, the way you presented it. Well, and now and now you stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> and very grateful people because I met Chef Alessandro as my co-host. I really tested him to be my co-host. He is one of a kind chef. <laughs> <laughs> and we talk about Italian cuisine in general because we love Italian food. Yes, we do. So, Shafi, today because it's hot, 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 it's summer, summer, we are in the middle, is it in the middle of the summer? Oh, people in British Columbia, we are burning people, so we need rain. Oh, yeah. Uh, my we just have one in uh, Toronto. I can uh, share with you if you want to. I know you guys need it. Yes, we need rain in British Columbia, people, because we are burning, uh, the, the forests are burning, people. So please do pray for the rain because we need to save the forest. The forest is our uh, life of our, on earth to provide oxygen. So please do uh, support us uh, and pray for us that the fire will extinguish fast. Lots of uh, forests will be perished, so let's do our part again. As Chef and uh, Chef and I always saying that, please do your part to combat climate change, right, Chefy? That's right. Yes, absolutely. Supposed to be all the heads of the states or head of the countries need a resolution to combat climate change because as we go on and go on for the next century, this will be more aggressive. How we combat it, how we do protect our generation to generation to come, set aside the politics that uh, people doing right now. Let's have peace and unite and make a resolutions that, that we can solve this problem. All right, yes, absolutely. I, so, I, I agree with you. So, Savi, what we gonna talk about today? 
Well, since it's so hot, I was thinking we can talk about gelato and sorbet if you want it. Absolutely, yes. Yes. I, I love gelato. You know, I I grew up in a in a uh, well, I can't say a small city because also it's a big city. Right? It's Austria. It's outside Rome. It's close to the sea, so it's uh, it's a beautiful uh, summer summer city. Let's say, oh yeah, because we got a nice, beautiful sea. Uh, anyway, I grew up in uh, in. Uh, uh, I remember every every. It's not just on summer, but even during the year, we always go get ice cream at night time with friends. We meet some place and we go for ice cream. So there is uh, everybody know in the, in Ostia, you know the il frutto proibito. It's one of the best ice cream uh, store in in Ostia. And uh, Massimo is the ice cream maker. Oh, it's is 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 a a monster. <laughs> how, good, how good he make his ice cream and sorbet. It's uh, it's fantastic. He has got some idea. So whoever goes to Ostia, I had to go try Massimo Caperchi on the Frutto Proibito. It's a uh, it's an amazing ice cream. And I grew up going you know, over there when his father was doing the ice cream. And I, he, even Massimo was there, the son. And, uh, and um, I remember the, all the flavor of the ice cream over there. And when you go there, you don't know what to take because there are so many. <laughs> so <laughs> many ice cream. And, uh, you know, I, I love ice cream and, um, you know, sorbet ice cream. And it's the, I think it's uh, uh, one of the best things that we have in, <laughs> in, in Italy for a, for a, for a, uh, for a dessert. What, yes, what do you think? Indeed. Really? Yes, it, yes, indeed. <laughs> Chef Italy is uh, famous for gelato. Everybody, yeah. uh, what they call this, urging a craving for gelato because yes. it's it's one of a kind. You know what, Chef? Uh, Brazil and Italy they have a good, delicious gelato ice cream. It's one yes. of a kind. Something else, people. So once you go to Italy try gelato yeah like, wherever you go you you can find a, a, a gelato store you know in italy you know <laughs> it doesn't yeah. matter right? you, i know there's some some uh, you know he, he, they close down for maybe a month or two during the year because it's you know it's cold the winter time nobody goes eat the diet the, the gelato but you know remember you know gelato maker make even a cakes you know and like last week we was talking about semifreddo they make glasses yes. in bread, they make uh, you know ice cream cake. It's delicious. They are amazing, and uh, but you know they they work because everybody loves gelato. And now you know even if you got some uh, you know some uh, uh, some gluten free or some lactose free, you got some of this kind of allergy. You know they made gelato just for you, so they make this uh, all this. Uh, uh, different kind so that everybody can have the opportunity to eat the gelato. It's not had to be, you know, with the, uh, whoever's got some gluten free or lactose free or any kind of other allergy uh, is still a, a, allowed to have the gelato. Of course, you can enjoy it, you can have it. And then yes. you see they make amazing, amazing gelato. Amazing. Yes, indeed. Even for a diabetes people, sugar-free ice cream. Oh right? yes. Do we have a sugar-free gelato, Safi? Oh yes, absolutely. Yes. So every individual that uh, have allergy or diabetes or any kind of sickness that you uh, have, gelato ice cream or so bad, they did something else for you to taste the deliciousness ice cream or gelato. So, Safi, what are the ingredients of gelato? Well, the 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 simple ingredients for the uh, the first recipe of gelato was you know the the a milk uh, fior di latte, the milk flavor uh, ice cream. Just you know uh, the. The base, uh, the base of the ice cream with no eggs uh, added. So it's just, you know, uh, milk and uh, sugar. That's it. 
then from there you, they start to you know uh, evolving with the different flavor with they add the sugar they add the chocolate they add uh, all the other different uh, hazelnuts uh, almond pistachio uh, you know uh, raspberry strawberry apple uh, any kind of fruit you can put in, you know any kind of uh, other ingredient that you like you know and uh, and it became a custard kind you know and yes. uh, yeah, it's this. There is so many different flavors that you can add on the base of the of the gelato. But uh, you know, the 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 if you look on the history of the of the ice cream, you know, it starts from the uh, twelve ninety five when Marco Polo returned from uh, from uh, returned to Venice from China. They bring something similar like a sorbet, you know. Uh, the recipe of similar like the sorbet, but then in the in the fifteen thirty, I think uh, something like that, uh, the the in the Florence, uh, Cosimo Ruggeri invented the first uh, the first gelato, the fior di latte. So that's the the basic of the ice cream. And then evolving the time coming, but it's, yeah, it start it start like uh, you know the the basic like only milk and sugar. And then after that, they start to add the eggs. They start to you know uh, add all the flavors. That's uh, that's the basic of the ice cream. Yes, and the, the difference you know the difference between you know the the ice cream American and the gelato is the hair incorporated inside, so they make a little bit more fluffy because the for the the butter fat, it's uh, actually the gelato, it's uh, 6%, I think, 9% of butter fat. And um, the, the, uh, the hair container with the, you know, with the movement of the machine, it's like 35% of it. It's, it's pretty, it's uh, uh, less than an American style ice cream. Can, 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 something like that, yeah. Yes, that's why it's so delicious. But it's not, people. <laughs> uh, it's one of a kind. It's something else. So before we go on, Shafi, we want to shout out to the people listening in Netherlands. Oh, okay. Thank you, Netherlands, because you are one of the countries give us one million downloads. So in Shafi, wow. in North Holland... We got 79% on in share. South Holland at 8%. Province C. Garderland at 5%. Uh, Groningen at 3%. Provincia Utrecht at 2%. Provincia Zeeland at 1%. Brabant at 1%. Zeeland at 1%. And last but not the least, Limburg at one percent thank you wow. so much thank you thank you very much thank you for supporting this podcast because this podcast is created to empower food 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 people that's right that's right <laughs> so Shafi, the procedure in making gelato well uh, the procedure is very uh, is not that hard anyway because what practically consists to uh, eating the, the ingredient up to 85, uh, 85 degrees uh, Celsius, which is 185 Fahrenheit, for pasteurize the, the, the ingredient. Then after that, they will lower to uh, five, uh, 5 degrees Celsius, they have, uh, 41 Fahrenheit, something like that. And, uh, and then after that, it will be put in the, in the machine and they start to make the, the, the gelato. That's, uh, that's how it goes. But if you want to make uh, a simple ad infior di latte at home, it's very simple. You just uh, get your sugar, you get your milk, put in the ice cream machine. If you got ice cream, you need the ice cream machine at home, right? Eh? <laughs> <For sure. laughs> Even a small yes. one, you can find anywhere. But anyway, any, anyway uh, you just uh, make, mix your milk with the sugar, you just put in the machine and let it run. And that's uh, that you got your fior di latte. Simple like that. So you Simple. don't have to be like, crazy. Well, you can put some chocolate in for the kids. They will love it. <laughs> for yes. Sure. You can broken some Oreo cookie. <laughs> you can make your <laughs> ice cream. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Then you can just be creative on it. That's uh, it. It depends uh, what flavor you want people now if you want to if you want to want instead if you want to make a sorbet that the sorbet you know uh, it's uh, 
it's just made by by juice so it's probably it's uh it water probably water and uh, fruit juice or fruit puree and uh, you can add uh, liquor if you want it, honey and you just put the same thing in the machine and let it run that's it if you want to make a home eh? of course yes yes people and we just want to advise you people because nowadays that uh they said that sugar is the cause of obesity and lots of disease nowadays so control putting sugars on whatever you are doing in the kitchen like not that too much like moderate you know don't take too much sugar because it's not good for our health Yes. So, uh, practically, if you want to make uh, the your, your sorbet at home, you know, and uh, you don't have the machine, you can still make it. But uh, to make that, you need to add alcohol inside, so it doesn't make freeze the the the, the liquid uh, certain point, you know. So you can still make a, the make a softer. To make to serve us a rubet if you don't have the machine, but oh, I suggest to have the machine because it's much much easier and uh, less uh, stressful to go turn around every two minutes in the freezer, you know. <laughs> <So> <laughs> yeah, of yes. course. Yeah. I did when I was a kid. Yes, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun yes. one time, two times, but after that, <laughs> turn around. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little painful to turn around all the time. But yeah, in, in Italy we make granita, no? The same thing. It's so like, you know, it's uh, we make granita, coffee granita. And uh, we we practically make the coffee, we put the sugar, we put it in the freezer. And then after, you know, every five minutes we go turn, we go turn into practically you broken the, the the ice. that doesn't form, doesn't crystallize altogether. And uh, you broken and you probably you use, uh, you eat like a... Uh, 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 just ice with the coffee flavor and you put the whipped cream on top of that's amazing. <laughs> I mean, yes. Memory of that, you know, go in the middle of Rome or walking on the street and then in the middle of the summer you just go inside <laughs> a coffee shop, you get can I have a granita, a coffee granita, you get that one with the whipped cream on top of <laughs> I mean, um Mamma mia. <laughs> yes, it's uh, it's uh, I think that things in the, you know in the uh, life in, the, in uh, a country the all different country but you got specific thing that you know uh remind you you know your background you your you know when your kids and when you go you know to the bar or you go to the coffee shop or you go to the restaurant you eat something specific that you want to remember for the rest of your life that's uh, you know and the typical stuff that you know staying with you and you bring go all over. I know my wife, she loves she love the granita, for sure. <laughs> she loves <laughs> Yes. So, Sophie, in Japan, because you work in Japan, can you compare gelato in Japan, Japanese cuisine? In Japanese cuisine? Well, well we... Uh, I remember in the hotel where I was working at Porto Hotel, we uh, used to have the, the ice cream machine. So, uh, we... They was making gelato, or ice cream, or whatever they want to call it, but... You know, they was making a very good, very good gelato over there. So they, the Japanese people know about gelato. There is lots of gelato store in, in Japan. So it's a common thing over there. And uh, But they got both. They got soft cream uh, gelato, the ice cream, or they got the regular ice cream, then they got gelato stores. So you can find a little bit everything. Uh, the flavors, yes, that's going to start to be uh, changing a little bit on the Japanese way you know like you can find matcha you can find uh, azuki you know all different flavor you know the the maybe you can find in europe you can find in italy you can find maybe in japan something different you know more for a japanese uh, tasting but of course there is a classic you know you find the vanilla you find the pistachio you find the hazelnuts uh, uh, any kind yes of course yes something that uh, satisfy the craving gelato and sorbet. <laughs> gelato and sorbet. I, 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 I want to go eat one now. <laughs> That's what I want to say. You know, you know, now yes. we're talking about, you know, we're talking about gelato, talking about sorbet, talking about granita. You know, I yes, feel like yes. I want to go to Italy and go see my friend <laughs> <laughs> eat the yes. gelato there. Yes, <laughs> it's. 
you know, no, but what I say, I want to say it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, there is, uh, uh, you know, uh, amazing gelato. doesn't matter wherever you go. And, uh, you know, if they know what they're doing and they use the right product, you know, the gelato is going to come out always fantastic, you know. And uh, you can make a home, as always I say, you know, you can make it by yourself. It's, uh, it's not that hard. There is lots of recipe online if you want to see on, uh, you know, on the net. And, uh, you know, hey, what can I say? It's uh, from my country, Gelato. So, uh, you know, I, I always uh, support <laughs> my, <country. laughs> my 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 stuff. So it's, it's uh, yes, it's, I love it. I love it. It's uh, uh, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite desserts. So, yes, absolutely. Yes, people try Gelato because it's one of a kind. For me, it's, one of a classic dessert of the Italian cuisine that you need to taste it because it's popular all over the world. So, Shafi, what do you think? Why gelato is so popular than tiramisu? Oh, <laughs> oh no. because if you go in Italy and you go see my friend Massimo, I think you can get even the gelato ice cream, the gelato of tiramisu, you know, flavor. Oh. <laughs> You know, oh, I'm, awesome. I'm, gonna ask, I'm gonna ask him to send me a picture of the tasty you got. You're gonna be surprised. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> we should be a sponsor our podcast, Sefi. So, that oh, can, oh, yeah, you know why about... we should invite the over. We're talking more about gelato, he's more professional than me on the, on the gelato. Oh, but yes, you definitely. know, I can't arrange, I can, I can do a, a little bit gelato, but he, of course, he's the master on it, <laughs> yeah, and uh, he can share the trade secret oh oh yes I, I would love to i would love to you know i always say to him hey let's bring the gelato machine i was the when i was in japan let's bring the gelato machine in japan yeah so, so, so shafi do you have a specific machine for gelato yes they do yes oh but, it's an extraordinary machine oh you, i can do this for gelato no no, it's... no, but there is there is a special machine for gelato. So uh, I think more more the, the the time goes on and more they evolve this kind of machine, they more they make much much better, you know, all the time. And uh, you know, uh, and they really care in Italy. They really care about gelato. So the the, the gelato maker, they must have a very good machine. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, <laughs> it's gonna get the complaint from the guest. Yes, definitely, Chefy. What is your advice for those? beginners who are gonna do the gelato oh it, it, you know it's so simple start from the beginning from the base after that you know start with the fior di latte after that you start to add the things you know you don't have to go complicated they add the, you know the eggs this and that you get to cook up to 80 degrees and you know you turn it down you know no you know just uh, you know uh be start with a simple thing the fior di latte and then go from there and uh, add the flavor that you like a little bit at the time. And uh, you can do even a sorbet anyway. So like I said before, you know, it's much, much simple to start to and, uh, you know, easy. And it's always good. Come on, it's good. <laughs> in summer, you know, in the summer, you really need it. <laughs> yes. Summer, summer, summer. Don't think about the calories, people. Just no, eat it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Just think the butter fat so good. <laughs> no. yes. I always, I'm always the idea that you don't have to exaggerate on it. Yes. You know, you had to eat what you know what you supposed to be. Eating, you know, but summertime gelato. Ah, don't yes. know. <laughs> don't think about it. Just go for it. <laughs> yeah, I think you can have a couple of days or even three. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, my favorite flavor of gelato chef is pistachio. No oh, pistachio, yes, oh, yes. Oh my yes. goodness! Try it, people. It's one of a kind. That's my favorite. Wow. Um, we have in Vancouver, Chefy, every summer. Oh my goodness, it's a long queue hour outside. <laughs> <laughs> there are a long queue. It takes probably thirty minutes before you can get your gelato. Oh wow. Yeah, you know, so I, think I should come to I should come to Vancouver. I'm gonna put gelato. <laughs> yes, I'm inviting you to come. But maybe I should convince gelato. Massimo to come over too. <laughs> oh, of course, and then you have our bond business gelato. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe you can have a franchise here in in Canada. <laughs> yeah. 
that's a good idea, yeah. So, Shafi. So, so, Shafi, uh, let's invite them to taste, to try to make the gelato. Yes, go ahead, please try to make it as much as possible. The summer is not that long in Canada. Eh? <laughs> so, yes. you need to, to eat the gelato as much you can in the summertime. Well, no, you can eat every day. Come on, even in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> the, don't be afraid with the sugar. <laughs> yeah, I was kidding. I was kidding. You can eat every day. <laughs> yes. My kids love gelato, so I can't say no to them. Every time they want it, they want it, they want it, they want it. You know, they, they, it doesn't matter if it's a winter, if it's cold outside, if it is no outside. They don't care. We gone, Chevy. I'm inviting you to listen to my other podcast, Book 101 Review, with our third season with Chris Tatterblay. Please do listen to our latest episode tomorrow. We're going to talk about a legendary author that brings spark in the book industry. So please do listen, Book 101 Review, and uh, plus uh, our book, uh, Food 101. So please do. Grab your copy because it's available on Amazon and leading online bookstores worldwide. Uh, listen notes for giving us um, 1.5% uh, popular show globally. Wow, thank you very, very much. Yes, from the bottom of our heart with Chef Alessandro and I, well, we are promising you that our our episodes, each of our episodes will be bigger, better, and bolder. Yay! So, <laughs> <laughs> and we, and for sure, 100%, we give you giggling and laughing a lot. Oh, <laughs> yes, come on. You know, we eat gelato, we can even laugh like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> because people, laughter is the best medicine. So, we yes, to laugh and laugh and laugh for despite of what's happening around us. Yes. So, so we, are, we are already thinking our fourth season, so watch out for our fourth season. It's yes, we try. Come on, we try. <laughs> <laughs> we are aiming for, uh, thank you, Fitzpat, for being the number 13 best food podcast on the planet. And Chef and I are aiming for, of course, on the top 10 list. Okay, yes. Okay, people? Yes. And that's why Chef and I are doing our best to make our episode better and better. Today, we don't have our video podcast because there's something wrong with our Riverside. So, uh, next <laughs> week, cross my finger, <laughs> that uh, our uh, problem with our Riverside will be solved. Okay, I'm going to talk to you next week, to all of you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Make up, people. See you soon. <laughs>